Our video was the last WAC middleweight champion against Dane Khan, Canadian professional mixed martial artist who most recently completed in the middleweight division. The fight took place in Australia on 18th July 2010. I can guarantee Paulo wants to get this match on the ground. ASAP. But Dennis no slouch on the ground with 16 submission victories out of uh, his 33 wins. And both guys more than capable of going the distance as Kang fires off a couple of right hands. Yeah, Paulo shot in and just dropped back to guard and Kang has jumped on top. In the guard, this is going to be an episode here of move and counter move, maneuver and counter maneuver as well. In a solid mid guard here. How comfortable does Paul Ho look there? Looks, almost a smile on the face. It's almost like he's watching TV. He's got the control of the posture, looking very comfortable. Looks like he's just trying to set up. Yep, he was looking for an armbar there. The composure of these athletes within two decades of mixed martial arts really hitting its strides. The composure of these athletes compared to other sports is astonishing. Absolutely, especially when you consider they're in there getting hit. And Paulo on his back. Here's the half guard. Yeah, it is only a half guard. And Pancake uh, one to at that. Kang has the underhook, which is the better position to have when you have the half guard. Firing shots to the midsection. I don't know how much of an effect that is going to have on Filo here. These shots don't make, don't make much difference now, but they will later, later on in on. the fight if it keeps going. There, yeah, Paulo trying to get the underhook. Throwing short rabbit punches. Look at the forearm placement here from the ground of Paolo. Kang trying to fire over the top of the hands and also avoid the shoulders he's done a good job so far Fiello in using his shoulders defensively here by rolling the shoulder protecting the chin absolutely and using his arms not taking many big, big shots at all still getting hit but nothing overly damaging at the moment they're gonna start to, to have a cumulative effect if you like oh, nice control of the arm there he's got that grip under the head they can set up some body shots and the headshot afterwards. O opportunity was there. He had wrist control. He could have elected perhaps to put the right arm in under. He was on the wrong side elbow. to go for a figure four. He would have risked giving up his back there. Again, the forearm used as his defense. Yeah, almost for a second looking to set up the arm triangle choke. Mm. Still in a half guard well, position cool. here. Go. The half guard of... Ulo Filo, 90 seconds remaining oh. in this opening round. He's got the arm triangle, but still trapped in the half guard. Polo able to keep his elbow high so as not to get caught in the choke. He's looking to slide through and pass out of that half guard position. Roll around to his, his left. Some big body elbows there by Dennis. They have got to hurt. They're going to make a difference later You don't on. see the body elbows all that much. Such an effective weapon, Elvis. Oh, your ribs are right down there, and they're open. Nice slam there from Dennis as well. Just trying to loosen up Paulo a little bit. Come on, Dennis, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. Short and not so powerful hammer fist being thrown just here by Dennis Kane. Oh. Trying to set up the sweep now, going for a deep, deep half guard position. He's got to switch his hips underneath and turn. That's it. Looking to go out the back door or trying to get that deep half guard. There he is, out the back door, trying to set up for the single leg now. But Dennis switching nicely yes. and switching to a high cross knee pass. Guarding again. Mixed martial arts. That's a very explosive bridge and roll there to reverse the position and end up in Paulo's guard. So Paulo's won that first half of the match. Of the Dennis round. on top. Yep, sorry, first half of the round. Dennis now on top. Is he going to steal the victory? Or can Paulo do enough to recover it here and get that victory for this round? Left elbow there from Dennis Kang. How much has he got in the final 70 seconds of round number two to perhaps 
steal back the advantage and move to what we would consider a two round to nil advantage with just five, one five in a period remaining. Well, he's staying, he's staying busy with the ground and pound with punches and elbows. Oh, nice, nice right hand. hand. It was from Dennis Kane, who recently signed an agreement with W1 with guys like uh, Brock Larson, Jason Dent, Rolando Delgado. And his first W1 MMA victory. Going back just a couple of weeks. Confidence is high. Slow down a little bit here on the ground. Dennis still on top in the half guard. A couple of short punches in there. Paulo trying to get back to his knees or sit-up position so he can at attempt a reversal or sweep. But Dennis having none of it. Final seconds of round number two. How are you scoring it at home or wherever you may be watching? Because we are broadcasting worldwide from Sydney, Australia this afternoon. Well, think, Lunchtime locally. Well, I think both fighters spend equal time on top. But Paula had the better position uh, earlier on in the fight. I think he should have edged that round. Unofficially, I have a one round apiece. It has been fought at a great pace, in great spirits, and you get the feeling we are going to see something kind of special in the final round as we take a look at some of the highlights from the second and as Kang went for that right knee that presented the opportunity to move into this position. And Polo on top nicely with that half guard then transferring to mount where Dennis has reversed it to end up on top. Really controlling his breathing. I've been watching Polo Filo in the corner and that is what the principal instruction between both breaks has been all about controlling your breathing, getting the heart rate back to a reasonable level and coming out fresh at the start of the round. It worked for round two. Will it work for round three? Big John calling him on. A right-hander versus a left-hander. The right-hander came the left-hander Philo as they matched up. Philo driving for that double leg takedown and he gets it. Though Dennis sitting up high, he's got the double overhooks holding onto the body, trying to avoid ending up on his back. Once again, trying to switch for that switch as he get out of the position. As he tries to switch with an underhook on this near side, there was the opportunity to use the cage on your back to climb to your feet. Philo knew that was coming, turned his man, and as a result, we end up in a position we are now. Yep. Philo on top, throwing some nice body shots there from the half guard position. He has that underhook as well, so he has that pressure to which he used to try and free that right leg of his there. This is as close as you'll get anywhere in the world without getting a black eye in your lounge room. You can hear these guys breathing hard there. We're expending a lot of energy. Oh, and another roll escape, and he's ended up on top again. An amazing escape. Dennis Kang doing a Houdini impersonation, but not for the first time tonight. Canadian's career here tonight has won two of his last three and for that man a four fight winning streak just one loss on a decorated resume for the first time this evening we go to the judges scorecards the crowd silent in anticipation of what is going to be read out shortly by James White a great crowd in attendance for you back in the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, Mixed when you give it up for Bad Down Fighters, the Paolo Field. Huge oh, noises oh, in the oh, land oh, down oh, under. Oh, and these guys have been absolute superstars since arriving across the pond. For the official announcement, let's go to James. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we've got the judges' scorecards. Judge Evan Bizzardo scored the bout. 29 to 28, Phil Ho. <laughs> Judge Brent Hines scored the bout, 27 to 30, Kang. <laughs> Judge Charlie King scored the bout, 29, 29, the